Hello everyone, and welcome to Pandaren Update. <laughs> Number three. Bet you didn't see that one coming. On this update, we'll go over how content has been going over the course of the last few months, as well as a few different content updates and announcements. Since we have a lot to cover today, I'm just not gonna, you know, I'm gonna spill the beans, let's just go ahead and get right into the updates. To begin, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on all my videos so far in this year in 2020. Again, being that solo content creator, because you know, that's totally nothing normal, is challenging, but it's all worth it in the end, as you know, Mod Gear's doing great, Minecraft's doing great, you guys seem to love it, so thank you so much for that. So anyway, now we can actually get into the update parts, and we'll start with the schedule for Pendar and Update. Yes, you're shocking how an update series has a schedule. Wow. So Pandaren Update, as you might know, isn't necessarily, well, I mean, it is channel updates, but it's also updates just on content and announcements. As of right now, the schedule is going to be that Pandaren Update will premiere around every three months. So there was one in January, there was one in March, as now, and there will also be one in June, September, and December, I believe, it's judging by the every three month timer. Basically, it'll go like a wrap-up of the previous months, you know, from in between each update and, you know, explain how content was, so announce for future new content, maybe changes to new content, that kind of thing. So then the next topic I want to go over is how is Mod Gear doing so far in its second season, as Mod Gear did premiere on Valentine's Day, and personally I will admit the show didn't start off that great, and looking back on that first episode, it definitely does feel, I wouldn't really say wrong, because it basically is the same as all the other ones, but just something didn't feel right, especially the custom challenge at the end of the first episode just felt way too short, way too simple, but I can definitely see that the second and third episodes definitely did very well, and as of right now, the fourth one is in development, and trust me, it's looking very promising. But I definitely do, do feel that Modgar's doing very well in the second season, and going forward, I definitely do feel like it's going to be doing a lot better. But, hey, you know, the creator has to make that possible. The next topic I want to cover is, surprisingly enough, it's some EXE Files reboot development. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and spill too much, because again, we're still a pretty far, far amount of time away from when EXE Files reboot is supposed to premiere. But basically, as far as development goes, nothing very much building related has happened, other than the biggest developments being that shader packs, resource packs, and stuff like that have already been decided. File names for all the files, which if you don't know what I mean by this, then I suggest you highly go check out Let's Talk Before the Show, because you'll probably get a baseline of what I'm talking about by files, stuff like that. But all the files, file names for all the files that are going to be present in the show, hence the name EXE Files, all those names have been determined. And as of right now, all the episodes that are planned to be in the show just have some temporary names with temporary plots just as filler. So that way I can kind of figure out what I'm going to be building over the course of the year for when EXE Files does release later this year. Again, as of right now, there is no confirmed release date for EXE Files reboot at the moment. However, if you've seen Let's Talk before the show, we, I estimated that it would be around sometime between September and as late as October if it got pushed back severely. But that is mostly all the EXE Files development I'm going to actually say because I want to keep it a secret, because I know everyone likes secrets. The next thing I want to get to, and my next point, is going to be about Panda's Lost Episodes. And to be honest, the show is actually doing a lot better than I expected, for being that split kind of thing of 2A, 2B, 1A, 1B, having an A and B episode. I think it's definitely working out very well, and the show's doing quite well. And speaking of actually just the show doing well, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to actually have some changes they're going to be rolling out here probably in the next week to Panda's Lost Episodes, and they're basically two big changes. The first is going to be a change in the overall description of the episode and how everything's laid out. Basically, if you look in the description of the episode, it basically looks like your typical description of like a normal video. But because Panda's Lost Episodes is highly based off of taking old videos that never made onto the, onto the live screen and making remasters of them, I figured let's try something different. So starting the week of, I believe it's um, March 8th, I believe, so probably like the next 
Panasol's episode when this video goes up, i.e. Panasol's episodes, episode 3A and onward, when you look at the description, all episodes that end in an A will have an old original file name with the original file or the f original name of that video. And it'll also have like a remastered-ish version of that video's description. When you get to the B episodes, the remastered version of those videos, the ch the description will basically change to have, say, original file name, and it'll then be placed with new file name. And it'll have a new description and all that. It's basically a way of just showing what these videos would have as far as their descriptions and titles would be if they weren't part of Panasonic episodes and they were made similar to that of how like Minecraft videos are made when they have all those titles and descriptions like the normal Minecraft content. That basically covers up the first big thing that's changing to Panasonic episodes and that change should be in effect by next week, so by March 11th when Panasonic episodes 3A should be premiering. So that if that change should be in effect, not just 3A, but it should also be into effect to all previous episodes of Panasonic episodes as well. So if you want to check the descriptions of those previous videos, then go for it because they will be changed coming probably March 8th. The next and uh, second big change to Panasonic episodes isn't necessarily a change, it's more of an addition. And for that, I'm happy to introduce Panda's Lost Episodes Extras. Looking through my Lost folder, as you may have seen in the intro of the show, there is definitely a lot more in that folder that I could fit in. Things like Mod Gear The Lost Season, and other videos that are either just super short, that, you know, would only make like a three minute video or something. And that is where Panda's Lost Episodes Extras comes into play. For example, I mentioned way back when Let's Talk Mod Gear Season 1 premiered in last year, that Originally, Mod Gear was supposed to be a lot different compared to what it ended up being in the first season. And that there actually was a lost season that was created. It only had five episodes. But it was at a time when there wasn't commentary and it was all, you know, caption based and everything. And it wasn't really as similar, I guess you could say, as it, as it ended up becoming in season one. That season's going to end up probably being put into um, Panda's Lost Episodes Extras because, again... I'm probably not going to be able to fit all of it into one year, so that's what Panasonic Episodes Extras is supposed to do. Now, this particular it's not necessarily a side series, it's still part of Panasonic Episodes. This probably isn't going to be taking place until roughly right around when Mod Gear is starting to end, if not into the summer. And that the extra episodes will premiere on the weeks when normal Panasonic Episodes don't air. By that I mean, normally Panasonic episodes is on a every two week schedule, so you have it upload one week, next week it won't be there, and the week in the third week it'll be there. That second week is usually when Extras is going to premiere, and you know, basically every week would be Panasonic episodes. Now again, this is not 100% certain yet, I'm not 100% sure if Panasonic episodes Extras is going to happen, it's still a kind of a training thought I would say. It's still in its early development as of it to if it's going to happen or not. But this, I'm just explaining it now just so I can, you know, prepare if it does happen. Because, honestly, I'd love to see those five episodes of Mod Get the Lost Season be remastered. And now I can obsess, obsess probably the biggest thing as far as March goes, and that is the upload schedule for March, which isn't really a big thing. As per usual, you have, you know, every Friday you'll have your Mod Gear episodes. The same goes for things like April and May, they'll have all your Mod Gear episodes, stuff like that. Panasonic episodes, I think we should just have 3A and 3B premiering in March, and probably 4A and 4B premiering in April, I think. I could be mistaken on that, so don't quote me on that, but I definitely know that 3A and 3B will be the only Panasonic episodes videos premiering in March. And then you have all the awesome Minecraft content premiering as well, with, you know, the um, No Place in Blocks Challenge premiering earlier this week, which I highly suggest you go check out. That was a really fun video. Um, there is one thing I would like to mention, though, is that bear in mind, even though that I sound a lot older than I am, I am still a sophomore in high school, so therefore making these videos is quite uh, very interesting, let me tell you. But uh, recently, I think a few weeks ago in February, right around the time when Mod, like I think it was like two weeks or a week after Mod Gear first premiered, teachers came out, they're like, okay, we got your state test dates, we need you to take these tests. Now the first one's fine, that's on a Tuesday, that's not going to screw with the upload schedule or anything like that. However, the second one um, is currently scheduled for Monday on the 16th, which would basically, I, th I think if I remember right, that should be a minigame-based Minecraft video. 
And as I said in Let's Talk Minecraft, in Let's Talk Before the Show, which you haven't seen that, you know, you can go check that, that I ever said that if by some miracle I managed to miss an upload on Monday for a Minecraft video, it would basically just go up the day after at the same time, i.e. 1 o'clock in the afternoon, PST, on Tuesday. And I say I'll probably end up missing that video Monday, primarily because the test is scheduled at like 12.30 in the afternoon. So just a heads up now, on the 16th of March on a Monday, there might not be a Minecraft video, there probably won't be, and instead you'll have to wait to see that minigame video the day after, on Tuesday, March 17th, at 1pm. But don't worry, if you don't follow me on these videos, I will post an announcement on Twitter, as well as a channel description, maybe not the channel discussion tab, but most likely on Twitter, I'll go and, you know, make an announcement saying, hey, this isn't going to be uploaded this day, come back tomorrow for that, you know, that kind of thing. But, but aside from that, that's basically the upload schedule, nothing really crazy. You'll have your mod year, you'll have your panels last episodes, you'll have your Minecraft. Um, the state testing on that Monday is going to be it, rather interesting. But, hopefully we should be fine. And now I can get to the fun part. As I said in the beginning of the video, I said that Panasonic episodes for this one, along with many others in the future, is going to highly focus on things like how content's been going, major content updates, and announcements. Well, I do actually have three announcements that I would like to go ahead and talk about here. And the first one regards to something that aired relatively recently. And that is 25 Ways to Die. The Minecraft video did very well, I would say. It definitely shocked my expectations, and I said that if it did well, I would do another one. So, therefore, I'm happy to announce that 25 Ways to Die will be returning for another edition. That'll be 25 Ways to Die 2. Currently, there is no release date yet, but most likely it's going to be released probably in April or May, probably like late April, in, if not into early May. And it's going to be very similar to the first one because there really isn't a lot, you know, to it. So hopefully you guys are going to be excited for that one because that's going to be interesting. Now, this next announcement is, um, it's definitely a weird one. So I have to go back a lot to this one. So recently, as you may know, uh, a very, very interesting man by the name of Panda Pops, who has been with this channel for quite some time. He hasn't been on the channel that much anymore. He recently came up to me and was like, okay, I want you to go eat some burgers with me. And it was like a dare. If I lost like something, if I didn't need enough or something, he would dare me to do a thing. Unfortunately, that ended up happening. And so he ended up daring me to release a music video on the channel, but it had to be a one hour video of just a random song and it had to be looped. Now, of course, I completely hated this idea, but you know, there was more to it. He basically said the video in question is basically a test just to see what would happen if I did or was dared to force a video like that onto the channel. It's basically a test to see what would happen. And so, therefore, I'm having to go through with Panda Pops' is dare because, you know, let's face it, he, you know, he's kind of, he's questionable in the least. So basically, there will be a one hour sort of video related to music in some way on this channel at some point. That video will most likely be going live sometime in the next three months. There is no confirmed date as to when it's going to come out. It's just going to drop randomly. It's just going to go live randomly at a random time in the next three months before the next Pandaren update, which will probably be in June. When the video does go live, it's going to stay on the channel for, I, we'll, we'll just say 10 days, maybe 10, 9 to 10 days, we'll say, but most likely it'll be 10. It'll stay on the channel for around 10 days just to see if people come in or not, because again, Panda Pops wants this to be a test there. I don't know why it's a test there, but apparently it's a test there. And then once the 10 days are gone, the video will simply just be deleted by Panda Pops request. So again, when that video does go live sometime in the next three months, Please do not take it seriously. It is only a test by Panda Pops for some reason because, you know, at this point I think Panda Pops is trying to screw with me. But that basically covers that. And the final announcement, the third and final announcement, is actually something related to Mod Gear. Um, this one's going to be very interesting because this is the announcement of a Mod Gear special. And that's actually going to play into effect of 
the Panda Sauce episodes that's premiering in March, and you'll definitely see why. The basic idea is that Panda Sauce episodes for March is going to feature a much older G Gary's Mod video. As I mentioned in Let's Talk before the show, you'll basically be able to tell that it's basically a video of the earliest stage of mod gear that there is. And therefore, Ep Panda Sauce episodes, episode 3B, is going to be that mod gear special, as this announcement entails. It is basically going to be made in, I believe it's going to be made in current mod gear, season 2 format. However, it is not going to be anywhere like the current mod gear episode that you're seeing now. It is going to be made completely different. It's going to be entirely based off of, um, well, if you know Top Gear and you know how they do their specials where they get sent out to a place or something and they got to go someplace, it's basically that. Get from point A to point B while incorporating all of the major mod gear challenges in there, in there without actually having, you know, a drag strip or a bump test. That kind of thing. It's definitely going to be a very interesting, um, it's going to be a very interesting video because I haven't really done something like this for Mod Gear before. It's definitely going to be very interesting to see this. But again, when this video does premiere, it is not going to be in Mod Gear's playlist. It is going to be premiering under Panda's Lost Episodes, not Mod Gear. But it will probably get added into Mod Gear's playlist anyway on the, you know, channel homepage and all that because it is still a Mod Gear episode at its core. But anyway, with all those announcement announcements, yeah, can't speak. But with all those announcements out of the way, that is basically all I wanted to talk about for this Pandaren update. So, to recap, I just want to say again, thank you guys for all the support on the video so far this year. Because again, it's been great. I explained the Pandaren update schedule, how the videos are going to be coming out about once every three months. I also forgot to add during that, that if at re any random point during... Um, between Pendarn updates, if something major comes up, then another one will be posted. But most likely, these giant Pendarn updates will only air once every three months. I discussed how Mod Gear was doing so far and how all the episodes and everything have been planning out. Because again, Mod Gear is doing very great. I also discussed the EXE Files reboot development, which again is very subtle at the moment. It's only just shader packs and resource packs and temporary episode names and file names. Very straightforward, but again, it's going to get better over time, as you'll see in the next Pendarn update when I probably brief it more. I explained some changes that are coming up to Pandasol's episodes, which includes just some description changes for episodes and, you know, Pandasol's episode extras, you know, that good jazz. I also made an assessment to the upload schedule for March just to explain, hey, there might not be a Minecraft upload on the 16th due to some other stuff, you know, state tests, all that stuff. Because again, we're still in school because, you know, um, again, you'll have your Mod Gear episodes, you'll have your Minecraft episodes, you'll have your Pandasol's episodes. It'll be a normal, typical month. I also announced things like 25 Ways to Die 2, because again, you guys really love that video. I also announced, you know, Panda Pops is Dare, which we're gonna call it. We're not gonna call it a one-hour video. We're just gonna call it Panda Pops is Dare, because let's be honest, it's basically that. And I also announced the Mod Gear special, which is going to be premiering under Pandasol's episodes, not Mod Gear specifically. I mean, it might premiere under Mod Gear specifically. I'm not 100% sure on it yet. Um, because again, it might just be a normal Mod Gear video where it's like, okay, here's season one format for three for Panasonic episodes 3B, and Mod Gear's special would just premiere like on the Friday of like a normal episode. It's still in the works, but most likely there's still a pretty good chance it will premiere under Panasonic episodes and not Mod Gear itself. But that is basically going to wrap up this video. So with that. Hope you guys enjoyed the Pendarn update. If you did and you're excited for all the new things coming and, you know, changes and stuff, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because, you know, we're, we're living it, boys. We're living the dream. No, we're not actually living the dream. But anyway, that is going to conclude the update video. My name is Panda Power Sauce. Remember to stay saucy, and I'll see you all next time. Later!